three-year-old trotting fillies lined up. The Atlanta Kentucky Philly Futurity 57th Renewal. Sponsored by Crawford Farms. Full field of 12 there on gain. They are off in the uh, Philly Futurity. It's a pink Coco Chanel. Rushes out there from the outside. Jiggy Jog out next door there. For Dexter Dodd is a selfie queen. Also left out for good early position. Date night moves on through in between Philly's ears. They battle into the opening turn. Bon Cheval protects her inside position. But it is Jiggy Jog who looks to loop up and pass the long shot pink Coco Chanel. Date night pressing on there on the outside for Miller. She uh, is going to press that early tempo as Moncheval come out trotting in fourth. Selfie Queen from the outside up post there. She's caught wide at fifth. Joviality from the second tier. She came out sixth at the early stages. Raised by Lady will track uh, her move up at the outside seventh. The quarter was 26 and four. So a hot opening mark. Date night took over. Not for long. Jiggy Jog looking to reclaim control. Selfie Queen has been out every step. She's still pressing on there on the outside for Miller. Joviality is up tracking cover right now. Second over fourth. Pinkoko Chanel's bottled up dead at the inside fifth. Raised by Lindy is up third over in the flow. Moncheval tracks in seventh. Miss Walter Fashion is up at the outside at eighth. Is to make their way past the half mile mark here. 54 seconds flat. So a wicked tempo as they move on to that uh, far turn. Advancing up at the outside. That's Mado from a ninth. She moves past Peyton ahead of her. The back markers here. Delilah ahead of her. And at the inside, Valentina Blue. They trot around the far turn. It's Jiggy Jog there. Selfie Queen had room to dive in as date night started to flatten out. Off stride went raised by Lindy. Joviati continues to gain ground up on the outside. Three quarters, 121 and four. And it's Jiggy Jog who turns for home with the two link lead. Joviati continuing to give Chase second. Selfie Queen's been a big trip. She tries to hang in in the third spot. Mano moves up fourth. Off stride went Pink Coco Chanel. Deep stretch Kentucky Philly Futurity. The favorites do battle. Jiggy Jog or Joviati. Jiggy Jog's got a short lead. Here's Joviati late. Jiggy Jog was giant. The Kentucky Philly Futurity. Joviati was second. Selfie Queen third. Monchaval fourth in 150. Just one fifth of a second off the world record. Eight, twelve, nine, one. Unofficially at the tenth. It's eight, twelve, nine, one. Unofficially, race number ten.
Returning track side for the Diamond Creek Farm Winners presentation, this is Jiggy Jog. Back-to-back -back Grand Circuit Stakes victories here in Lexington at a reminder of the Caretaker Cup. Sponsored by Art Zubron, Leah Chevrolet's Fair Island Farm. Give it to all the Grand Circuit caretakers here, including the caretaker of the eight, Jiggy Jog. Oga Sponsted trains Dexter Dunn, picks up his third one of the day. Jiggy Jog is owned by Jorgen Sparadale Incorporated of Delray Beach. Jiggy Jog, a three-year-old brown filly. She's by Walter from the Cantab All-Mare. Hot mess ahead of her. She was bred in Sweden. It's her sixth one of the season, the eighth overall. Jiggy Jog, one-fifth of a second off the world record. 150. A stunning performance here in the Kentucky Philly Futurity for Jiggy Jog. It's the Atlanta Kentucky Philly Futurity. It's sponsored by Crawford Farms, and we're happy to have Michelle Crawford trackside to make the trophy presentation to the winning connections of Jiggy Jog. Prices up for the 10th race, the 8 Jiggy Jog worth $4.36. The exact was $7.44. The $1 trifecta was $53.48. The $1 pick four, $113.29. The 20 cent superfecta was $167.64. Your rundown's in here for the Philly Futurity. The one Mon Cheval was fourth. Number two, Date Night was eighth. Three, Peyton Hatter was sixth. Four, Valentina Blue was seventh. Five, Badeau finished fifth. Six, Tavada Hatter was ninth. Seven pink Coco Chanel, 10th. A Jiggy Jog, the winner. Number nine, Selfie Queen, third. Number 10, Miss Walter Fashion, 12th. Number 11, Raised by Lindy, 11th. Number 12, Joviati was second. Rejecting top down, 486, 759. 10, 1, 3, 12, 11, 2. Jiggy Jog, one fifth of a second off the world record. 150, Hollywood Hayden standing by with the wedding connections. At Hollywood Hayden again standing by trackside at the winter circle with the Wendy Connections here of Jiggy Jog. Thanks so much, Gabe. Sarah Sponsas here and George Sarvadal, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, almost. Jorgen Sparadal. From Sweden, and she was bred in Sweden. Yeah, bred and born in Sweden, and uh, bought her in September as, as a yearling. And then when did she come over here? Uh, November as a yearling. Okay. And then she goes to the Breeders' Crown after this? Yeah, no, that's the plan. Exciting time. Sarah, what kind of filly is this to take care of? Uh, she's kind of a little bit of a hands full. She has some tempers, and uh, Renee, as the groom, is doing a tremendous job with her to keep her happy. But uh, I'm so happy that she made it today. She has been racing against some tough fillies, and there has been bad luck in the races. And uh, But here we are today, so. And Dex Dexter wanted the lead, and you were on the lead. Does she like to race up front? I can't really tell. Like she, she sometimes, like I said, she is a little bit tempered. So if if she wants, she can. But sometimes she likes the helmet. So I guess he felt that uh, he had plenty of horse today to do it. I know you have a plane to catch, but do that after Bulldog, please. Sarah Svonset, the owner here. Jiggy Jog, one fifth off the world record. 